What's up? Hello, hello. <laughs> the flashlights are working today. I think this might be uh, Brandy and Riker, because I told them to astral project and touch the flashlights, because apparently that can be a thing. Also, hold on, I should probably change this to the splitty screen. Three people. So, if this is Brandy and Riker, can you turn one of these things on? It, it's been taking them a second because um, they don't normally do this, and the timing is funny when you're in the astral. <laughs> Oops, I touched my mic. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's weird. Also, Janelle has a flashlight set up behind her on that lamp. And I told Riker to go there and to touch the flashlights there. <laughs> <laughs> and they said bet, and it it has gone on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a couple times. When I'm like, Riker! Do it! <laughs> and it happens. Do the thing. Do well, the roar. I'm glad you could join us to watch you touch the flashlights in the astral for a second and then go back to your meeting. <laughs> and what's up, Angel? How's it going? How do you do it? Um, yeah, we're going to be talking about astral projection today while we play the uh, Resident Evil Village, Resident Evil 8, whatever you want to call it. But I uh, figured out what I was supposed to do. I need to go to the, the room with the blood pool and move the statues around. Because I'm a dumbass. That's why the fly lady was chasing me around. I sound crazy talking about this. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea for reference what you're talking about because I've never watched this game at all. <laughs> well, there's we're not this... too far into it. Yeah, we're not. Because I suck. But it's fine. Yeah. Um... But Russell is also here. He's not the black um, screen. That's Anthony. I don't know why Anthony joins with his camera if he's going to be the black screen, but it's fine. <laughs> um, it's because I'm not ready yet. I have to look purdy. <laughs> no, I'm just running back and forth, so I'm cooking dinner. How Hi. exactly do we astral project? That's a good question. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? How am I supposed to do that? <laughs> Yeah, so yesterday, he's got to feel bonita. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yesterday, we had a Patreon live stream, and the topic <laughs> was time solely because I literally added it to the pool because Patreon chooses what the live stream is about. And I added it to the pool all sneaky like because I was like, I got things I got to talk about in front of Liv, I guess. So. Liv kind of had to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> They're asking you what's for dinner, Anthony. Spaghetti, meatballs, and garlic bread. I'm jelly. I had pizza for the third third food, third meal Me. that I, I've had. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we had... Also we better had than pizza just... yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I had pizza for lunch, I had pizza for lunch yesterday, and I had pizza for dinner yesterday. So. Man, I went to the store and forgot to get Wheat Thins. Damn it. Wheat Thins! I'm not gonna lie, you got me addicted to those things. I love them. Ugh, Wheat Thins so are good. the best. So, yesterday, like I said, we were talking about astral projection because I figured out that I can astral project without me knowing that I'm astral projecting. And it f it's weird. It's a weird experience. It's literally like when you're asleep, you're like not aware of your body. Or at least this is how it works for me. It's like when I'm asleep, there are points in time where I don't remember being able to feel myself existing in my body. You know how when you're like just being existing, you can feel the fact that you have arms and legs. But when you're astral projecting, you don't feel like that, and it's weird. So I had the inkling that I astral project. And then yesterday, yesterday, we talked about time, and somehow we got on the topic of astral projection. And I was trying to uh, convince Liv 
that she also astral projects without her knowledge of astral projecting. So um, she was like, that's a lie. I don't believe you. Prove it. So she astral projected into my basement because we were doing a live stream. And she was back in this corner. And she was like, where am I? And I was like, you're in the corner. And she's like, what am I doing? And I'm like, you're dancing like this. And she was like, I hate you. How do you know all of these things? And then she's like, what color am I telling you? And I'm like, blue. <laughs> and she's like, how do you know all of that? I still don't believe you. If I actually astral project, I'm going to wake you up at 4 a.m. And that will be proof that I, I astral projected to your house and I woke you up. I woke up at 4 a.m. today, you guys. <laughs> and, and when I tell you I woke up, I literally woke up sitting straight up in bed. I don't remember waking up. I just remember sitting in bed, literally like upright like this, looking around and was like thinking about something. I don't know what it was because it got scared out of me when I was like, wait a second. Why am I awake? How did I get here? What's happening? And... I went to go text Liv and I told Liv that I it had happened <laughs> at 4 a.m. <laughs> and she uh, was having dreams about cats, which also makes sense because I have been seeing cats for like a few years. I saw this one brown cat and I made a TikTok about it. And this brown cat like went into my cabinets because I was seeing him physically. And this brown cat looks like my cat, so I thought it was my cat going into my cabinets to, like, eat my food. However, it was this weird spirit cat. But over the last, like, over the last year or so, after I saw that brown cat, my cats have increased. And I talk about it in the last live stream, because I see a brown cat, a black and white cat, a black cat, and a white cat. And I newly am seeing a tan cat. So I brought that up to Liv yesterday, and she was like, we're talking about astral projection, right? The cats are the things that help us get back to our bodies. And I was like, wait, what do you mean? Because it's you, me, who are the other people that are astral projecting? And she was like, I don't know, I don't know. But we figured out that I'm the brown cat. That's my cat that leads me back to my body, which is why I saw that one first. And then I started seeing a black and a black and white cat. And the black cat is Riker, which is one of my patrons, who is literally the mirror of me. We're literally like Spider-Man pointing at each other. And then <laughs> the black and white cat is Brandy, which is like Liv's mirror, <laughs> who is Sp Spider-Man pointing at each other for her. <laughs> And after a while, I was seeing a white cat, and Liv mentions that she also sees the white cat in my house, and the white cat is Liv's cat that brings her back to her body. And then I don't know who the tan cat is yet, but I have suspicions. But everything is fine. So we figured out what all the cats are for. But I don't know why there's so many dark things around me, because again, in the last live stream, like, last week, uh... We were talking to a lot of weird things that were going around. So now you're caught up. You guys got that? There's more that I have to tell you after the live <laughs> stream. <got> <laughs> but does that blow your mind? You're going to be like the house that has all the cats now because everyone's going to astral project into your house. Yes. So that's why I'm telling <laughs> the flashlight you. came on. Randy and Riker are touching the flashlights because I fucking told them to. <laughs> we're all just going to start spying on you. <laughs> it's been happening for a month because <laughs> literally I told Riker I was like you need to tell me every single time you see me astral projecting to you and my sign or symbol for you is it it's gonna be two middle fingers and <laughs> they were like okay my sign for you is gonna be one middle finger and I was like fantastic <laughs> so now every time I hear someone be like is there like whatever a middle finger that's how I know Riker's here. <laughs> like, I was watching a TikTok and this girl has an umbrella that's a middle finger. <laughs> I was like, God damn, Riker! <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> but, you know. 
I don't know what's happening. I've been having an existential crisis for a while and everything's fine. I'm gonna start playing this game and we can talk about more stuff. How are you guys doing? <laughs> oh, I gotta move some stuff around. Um, I have like too many things. I have a candle, a lighter, a piece of paper, a pencil, a crystal ball. Everything's Lord. fine. There's there's a Ouija board that's over there too. That's how you know what my niche is. It's fucking a crystal ball, a Ouija board, some charms, and a tarot deck on my desk. Okay. Unusual. <laughs> my astral form's doing Gangnam style dance in M's basement. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, you guys. So, does anyone else astral project? And if you do, does a cat bring you back to your body? Because I'm still freaked out about the cat thing. Because I had a couple days to deal with the fact that I astral project. I have not had a few days to deal with the cat thing. <laughs> um, I gotta remember what I'm doing here <laughs> for a second. Okay. I do, but mine is butterflies. Cause I was thinking about it and I was like, are the cats because of us? Are the cats because of me? Why are there cats? Is it like a weird familiar thing like Harry Potter? I gotta remember where I'm going to. Oof. I think it's this way. I don't know. No, it's not. Also, can you guys hear my game? Oh, it's upstairs. Okay, hold on. Uh, yeah, you can hear it. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Little white butterflies. Um, we what? will only be able to hear probably the audio. What? I said usually we only hear the audio. I was just telling- I was filling in Russell because he hasn't been in in a minute. Oh, yeah, but I didn't no. hear that one guy talking, so I don't know. Okay. Yeah, at some <laughs> point I will figure out a better way for you guys to watch the stream. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's this direction. Nature. Yeah, butterflies is interesting, too. I uh, kind of feel like I can see how the butterflies do it. It's like a trail, almost. It's really... Cool. I uh, want. Lean. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I want to learn how to astral project, uh, and know I'm doing it. AJ wants to say hi. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hi, AJ. What were you gonna say, Russell? Oh, don't touch. Uh, I was just gonna say, Lena. The black box is Anthony, but that black box is no longer there. So. <laughs> 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 yeah, I thought about writing your name next to it. Um, I'm hiding today. Yeah, yeah Russell showed up at six. So. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. You showed everybody a new dinosaur? <laughs> yeah, I figured out that you have to move these statues. Because when you go up to the them, the thing thing. doesn't, like, gum up. <sighs> so I'm, like, confused. <laughs> Be careful. And do you actually astro project? Hey, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, my spirit guides told me I me... apparently do it in my sleep, so. My spirit guides are telling me know. that I did it in my sleep before when I was younger. Dude, I, I believe I that. I feel like I believe you for that. What? That you did astro project. Yeah, when I was younger. Because the feeling that you described, they they showed me um, what, or well, they they basically showed me a memory of what that feels like. Yeah, it's which I have weird. I think this needs it's, to go somewhere else. It's almost like you're asleep, but you're not asleep at the same time, and you're aware of your you're aware of your body, but it's not. 
It's hard to explain. A weird feeling. Yeah, it's like when um, I've passed out before. I'm now it's a little almost. bit weird, weirded out by it. But I like passed out the one day because I had an anxiety attack and I fainted. When I fainted, my brain couldn't remember what happened during that time. It was like I wasn't there. So that's the same feeling that I got when I astral projected. But my brain tries to fill in the blank because it's hard to not remember a chunk of time. But that's the same thing that happened while I was sleeping. Does that make sense? Yeah. They're kind of explaining it to me like almost being aware of your surroundings. Like if someone were talking, you would be able to hear it. Um, and like that kind of stuff going in the background where your actual physical body is, but you're yeah. somewhere else. Um, they kind of want me to say like almost like a, like if you were in a coma, because a lot of people explain um, what they feel like when they're in a coma is that they can hear things going on around them. But yeah. literally are like, they're aware of that, that there's a space around them, but, and there's people in it and you can hear the noises and you can hear everything, but you're just, it's just like blank essentially. Yeah. My spirit guides say that I block a lot of it out. Like the reason why I don't remember is because my trauma prevents me from doing so. It's like traumatic to think you're leaving your body and you don't have control or something. I don't know, it's really weird. It's weird. It is almost like, kind of like a, I think disassociation might be like similar to it. Yeah, dissociation is how it happens because it uses the trauma part of your brain to not remember it. Um, but literally this morning when I woke up at 4 a.m., I literally did not remember waking up. I literally was sitting in my bed, upright, like this, looking around until I realized I was awake. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the memory that they're, like, bringing back for me is that it was... Because I can remember part of it, I guess. Um, but it was remembering the feeling of uh like i was falling essentially and i could feel the air like as i woke up moving like rushing by me mm -hmm. weird. <laughs> that's a fun time yeah that's crazy <laughs> um i think i was falling like how i like jumped old off a were cliff. you <laughs> Uh, this is like when I was like four. God, four I Four or five. Think... <laughs> so that was a very long time ago, and that's a really weird memory for me to remember. <laughs> yeah, because they told me claircognizantly that you were four. What happened when you were four? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what caused you to do that? What the hell? I don't know. A really good imagination, maybe? <laughs> it'd be weird it do be weird I don't know I feel like you remember some of it because it was before you had a lot of trauma yeah so that some probably. of it seeps through I have because... a lot of weird specific memories like that yeah cause it feels like you remember it but there's like it doesn't feel like it's you remembering it. I don't know if that makes sense. Yes, that makes sense. But I'm also the type of person um, that uh, I've had I have really weird dreams. Um, I um, when I was younger, I think when I was I was either I think I was like four or five, um, maybe even younger. I told my mom about a dream that I had and I because I've had I've had weird dreams like this before we've also had dreams that overlapped before weird but um, I told her I was like do you remember when we used to have a dog and I literally like explained to her like and talked to her like as if we'd been here before and was able to describe like like we were here at this house or on this land before and I was like we had a dog and I literally explained to her, like, this whole thing. I was like, yeah, we were here before. And, like, explaining, like, as if it happened, which is really weird. 
and that memory is very specific and doesn't feel like my memory either. Was it an actual memory? That's what I don't know, because I, I told her about it when I was really younger, and she brought it up to me, like, a couple of years ago. Um, I can was it, like, a little it. white dog with curly hair? Yes, it was. You're on a farm. That was one of your past lives. Yeah, but it was... Sorry. It was... Well, that's the thing that's weird, because guess what was here before? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. our house was here. No! Yeah, it was literally... <laughs> it was on our hill... Because this was a, a sugarcane farm beforehand. And the house that's next door is the original house. That house is like, uh, was built like, I don't know how long ago it was built. I'd have to look it up, but it was built like it was a quite celery a while farm. ago. Yeah, it was like a celery farm or it was a sugarcane farm. It was something like that. But it wasn't. I still think that was your past life. Yeah. You lived really in the weird. same place? That's wild. You lived in the Ooh. neighbor's house? Yeah. And there, what the I fuck is going on? You see that? that house. Oh, okay. Sorry. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, I'm listening. Fine. You can handle yeah. it. Uh, handle it. I'm running. Handle Everything's it. fine. <laughs> I'm going over here. I'm going to make it worse. Oh, I've been making it worse. I have said, and I'm just making this connection now that I, I have said before that if they ever see the house, I would buy it. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you Which literally used to that. live there. It's fun. Okay, all right. And I also feel like I know what the inside of that house looks like, and I've never been in it. <laughs> yeah, except you, oh god, were in it. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Can you see what, um, which, who I was referring to? I don't know if that was actually my mom. Can you see what she looks like, what she's wearing? After you're done. Yeah, she sorry. That is. I'm like, I'm scared. <laughs> Cause if it, I should like write this down somehow. <laughs> I'll text it to Janelle, what it looks like before okay. you say it. Oh God. I don't know if this is real because that memory is like really fucked up. The reason why it's so strong is because you're living in the same place. Mm -hmm. Cause like when you have that memory, does it literally feel like you're watching a movie of your life? It does. It's like, really. When you watch really the weird. movie, it's almost like you're feeling like you're in their body. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Let me send this to Janelle before. Because I think it's, it's kind of, it's a little bit blurry, but I'm pretty sure. Okay, I texted it to Janelle. This is for the proof. Okay, <laughs> I, got, I got it, I got it. What, a, what did you ask me? Um, what, it, what it does my mom, who, if that is actually, I don't know if it's my mom in there, but, but the mom in this, this particular dream what does what is she wearing or what is it um like what does it look like the colors what she's wearing well you're maybe like seven or eight and you have dirty blonde hair that's kind of straight fluffy and the, your mom has similar color hair but it's lighter I feel like she's in some sort of long dress with an apron sort of thing over it, and the dress is like cream or white, and then blue. She kind of- she's telling me she kind of looks like Cinderella when Cinderella is in the like maid's outfit sort of thing. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's- I mean, that's close to what, what, it, what she was wearing in this dream. That's that's really close. If you want to get more specific with it, you might be able to get it. Yeah, seeing things isn't as intense for me. That's why they're giving me things that it's like. It's That's very similar. Um, if you want me to tell you, I can tell you. Yeah, tell me what it is. It was a, a white dress with, mm -hmm. um, with like polka dots or like a floral pattern on it. Yeah. That's essentially what it is. And Janelle can literally show the text <laughs> that I just texted her before that. <laughs> yeah, no send it to me. Yeah, 
You can show it on camera too, Janelle, if you can get it to focus. I don't think I texted anything before that but it can't be on camera. Oh yeah, we were just talking about the house. But yeah, it's a really weird memory and it's very specific and when she told me about it, I already knew about it. When she was like, yeah, like you told me about me, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then she asked me, she was like, like a dog this? there, and I was like, yeah, I'm right. <laughs> so, Oh, here. shit! <laughs> Sorry. Ugh. Sorry, everything's fine. They really pop Sorry. out and get you. <laughs> uh, let me catch up on chat. What's going on in chat? Okay, I have bullets. I think, hold on, I need some of these. No, okay, okay, let's. One word of advice for traveling is there's a lot of dangerous creatures in the astral realm in certain places. Um, I have heard that before. Yeah. I've heard that there was a point in time a couple of years back that everyone was like, don't astral project right now. Just, it's not worth it. <laughs> Shit. Russell. Okay. What did you say? <laughs> oh, I said sorry. Russell was just quiet. Oh, is, is my is my microphone really quiet? <sighs> so you were just quiet for like a second there. Oh. Yeah, I think I turned back on like an okay. automatic setting. Mm, you're fine. Okay, mm -hmm. everything's fine. <laughs> Fix you. Oh, we're talking about weird things that you can see in the astral? Yeah. I think that's what's happening. Yeah, I really just want to be cognizant when I'm in the astral so that I can enjoy it. Because apparently, I've gone to Japan a lot. Oh, that's fun. I, I literally don't know. I want to go to Japan. Happy yeah, Thursday know. from Vam... Vam... Vamp Love. Thank you for joining Team Rosaline. Welcome to the team. Sorry, what did you guys say? I said I wanted to go to Japan. That's what I said. Yeah. Oh, That'd yeah. I literally... Um, one of those times in which I felt like I left my body, I literally after right after remember my dream that happened and i was in japan because i feel like i was like processing the fact that i went astral projected to japan and now i uh am now dreaming about my trip to japan because i think i took Riker or something and live and we literally I literally, in the dream afterwards, was getting kidnapped by some scary dude, and then they were trying to make me, like, go on their side of, like, some war thing. So they were trying to train me, but instead I, like, killed the guy and then left. Also, <laughs> Riker has decided to be, uh, Team Finea Red, and also to goat me. <laughs> If you don't know, uh, I tell people that red is, uh, the guess that everybody guesses when they try to do intuition tests or something right there, right? about astral projection and it's weird yeah because i feel like me. i feel like you astral project way more than you know it well they're also explaining to me that it because it's so different for everyone that yeah explaining how to do it could be dangerous for someone <gasps> else that wants to try it because you could end up in a bad place <laughs> 
Oh, there's two. I don't know. No, it is true. I believe it's true. Yeah, like, if I were to explain it. Like, oh, look how I do it. And someone else would have copy that. that, that. Oh, shit. You know what? I have a... I don't know this. My... Actually, I knew that's what she was trying to do. One of my friends... Oh, yeah. Okay, alright, okay. okay. Casually ignore this. <laughs> Sorry, everything's fine. I'm going over fine. here. I don't know where you came from, you, you bitch. No, oh, die! Sorry, what were you saying? Uh, I was gonna say, Liv did a reading for one of my friends, and she is into. Um, she does Wicca. Um, uh huh. As well as she's she's into like spiritual things, all that kind of stuff. Um, and lifted okay. a reading for her and um, explained some of what happened to her. But essentially, my friend was trying to astral project with a uh, set of songs. Because um, that is a thing, apparently, and I don't know what it's called. But at some point, you call upon the God of War, which um, sounds oh, scary gosh. to me. And I don't know why you would want to do that. Um, but my friend had a very bad experience from that because she almost let something in. Which is why I think it's dangerous to just like yeah. do it by like following someone else in some cases. I think in some cases it might be okay, but. No, well, you're correct. Yeah. Because there are certain people that you are supposed to do it with in order to keep yourself safe. Yeah, Whether she... that be physical people versus, versus like spirits, gods. Yeah. She, I, I personally, I, if I have something where I'm calling upon a god of war, um, no thanks. <laughs> and she's never tried it again after that because she, she said that she like, that when she was after that she was very angry, because she messed it up. But she was almost there, um, like she almost had it. She messed it up because she was rushing through it and she didn't, um, protect herself correctly, um, and she was seething after it and was like trying to essentially thinking about murdering her boyfriend <laughs> uh, and then she threw up a lot and then that was the end of it so yeah i don't i think yeah. she called someone other than the god of war oh, i don't yeah. think they, she was talking to a god yeah Liv explained she kind of explained briefly what it was what it was and what it looked like but it had hooves and mm -hmm. horns so <laughs> it wasn't that but she almost let that in um and luckily she, she did but it's a good time yeah yeah definitely not a god uh it, there were a lot of things that you called upon in that one a lot of different gods and uh, <laughs> it definitely it was, wasn't a god yeah no yeah like Personally, I'm out. God of War, no thanks. Yeah. No, ma'am. I don't yeah. know. I feel so like she doesn't terrifying. work with that god. Which is why he didn't come. And yeah, something this... else came. But I don't, I don't know. Because I don't know much about the god aspect of it. Yeah, Cause this happened like a couple of years ago and she hasn't done anything since then because like that's just how bad of an experience it was yeah i'm just gonna say i've been cooking dinner listening and i'm like <laughs> what the hell's going on <laughs> we're talking about astral projection and if you do it no i know like oh <laughs> that was a crazy story yeah which like that's like, not that was the, like... the full story that's just part of it i don't want to explain her like full story but it was a bad yeah. experience to say the least <laughs> No, I, I agree. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. crazy though. Like, when I yeah. found out about that, I, literally, I told her I was like, "Don't you ever fucking do that again." You yeah. <laughs> I literally, I was like, "You're done." I was like, "You're not doing that ever again," and she won't. And she like, like I said, she hasn't practiced anything in a long time. Um, she's been thinking about it, but it, it almost feels like there's it's like waiting for her to mess up again yeah. and like make a mistake and that's why i'm like let's not do that and yeah. i haven't felt like that recently so i think it's not like 
waiting, I guess. I mm -hmm. don't know what that feeling is. So I think it's gone away or at least lost interest. Um, so we're just, we're not, not going to try that. That'd be fun. Yeah. Um, Noel says, that's why I don't try to work with gods unless I've extensively tested the waters. Like, I'll petition and dedicate things to them and work small first. Nothing near that. Too many bad things. Yeah, um, I don't know a lot about gods, but what I'm figuring out more and more is that if you feel drawn to a specific god, it's probably because you are working with them. But I, I feel like in this scenario, she was more drawn to the astral protection versus the god that was helping in that scenario. Yeah. Should I go on this? Or do I go in this door? Which do you think is the path? Um, I don't know. Ooh. <laughs> It's not this one! That was dumb. Nah, you're fine. Well, now I can't go back there. <laughs> well. And the phone's uh, ringing. Well, James asked, who are the <clears throat> gods? How many gods are there? This is new to me. Um, <clears throat> there's lots of different, different gods you can work with. I don't know if there's like a set number for that. Yeah. Mother Miranda, I regret to inform you that Ethan Winters has escaped that fool Heisenberg. Because he is in my castle and has already hot been lady. Too much for my daughters to handle. <laughs> when I find him, I came back at a great Mother time. Lady. Mother Miranda. Yes, of course. I understand the importance of the ceremony. Perfect time, yeah. I won't let you down. Oh, oh. To hell with the ceremony! That man will pay for what he's done. Cool. Shit. Um, oh, yeah. ooh. I should have gone in that room. Why did you guys tell me to go in the room? I didn't actually look. Maybe I can still do it. If you try to call on a god to help you do something without understanding that deity well enough first, then it will be e then it, it will easily be a problem. Yeah. Oh fuck. I thought she was still in here. Gods and astral projection can be scary. Okay, we were all called by Mother Miranda to decide the fate of the child's father. Just thinking of that family meeting makes me shudder. To think I'm treated like a sister to those... Mm, I don't know what that word says. Especially hein, Heinzenberg. That riffraff wouldn't know much wouldn't know proper manners if they slapped him in the face. I would have sliced him to ribbons if Mother hadn't stopped me. Why? Why does she treat me the same as them? She gave me this castle. Obedient daughters. Everlasting life. Did she not? Am I not her favorite? Am I not special? I need a drink. I think this is that tall lady's room. Why is... Why? Rose, Whoop. where are you? Oh, God. The door <laughs> closed. I got scared. I work with Loki and he helped me with the astral initially. I have a draw to Nordic gods and get so many things regarding Loki. I, however, choose nope because I don't want to mess with it. How do you get the flashlights to work? I bought one and want to make sure I've got it set right. You have to set it so it's in between the, uh, like, on position and the off position. It has to be, un like, touchy enough so that if you touch it, it will change. Um, 
but if you do it too much, it'll just go on and off and on and off and on and off, and that's how you know it's not working. But, uh, there you go. <laughs> we got a key. Okay, let's go try this door first. I don't think I can go through this door. Hmm. Oh, oh shit. shit. Mary. <laughs> All this for a child who isn't even here. What the hell do you... Uh, you ungrateful, selfish wretch. You come into my house. You lay your filthy man hands on my daughters. And now you even try to steal my property. Uh, I'm gonna go through the floor. <laughs> Well, I guess I can't go through those other doors either. Because I will hunt you, and I will break you. Well. Go ahead, do your worst. Wow, that was dramatic. Um, she can break me. <laughs> she can break me. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> Brandy and I are trying what? to turn them on the same time. We'll do it. Okay, three, two, do it. You're always, oh. <laughs> I've decided that that flashlight is yours, Riker. And then the pink one is Brandy's. <laughs> Which is the, other, the one on the other side, but. It sound, I have scary music, so I feel like something bad's gonna happen. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm struggling right now. It was doing girl good earlier. Um, okay. Everything sounds really intimidating. Hey, werewolf astral form is trying to turn the flashlight on him. Um, what is a were werewolf astral form? Can you describe that to me? <laughs> Cause uh, I told Liv to talk. I told Liv to talk to werewolves the other day, and I still am not sure how that worked out. So. Excuse me? What? <laughs> my problem is I have to drop my frequency. Okay. I'm gonna open this. The music is very scary. Okay. It's a big eight foot werewolf. Werewolf. Black fur. It looks similar to Grey Back from Harry Potter. But why are you a werewolf? Like, what is a werewolf energetically? That Those are the questions that I have. <laughs> Cause, uh, that's fucking awesome. And I do believe that that's a thing. So I just want to know everything about it because that's who I am but on the more, inside. But more muscular and bigger. Hmm. Was that you, uh, Hannah? Or was that Riker? Because now I'm confused. Oh, Hannah, can you make, there's cat balls over there, make the cat ball do something. I usually believe the cat ball more than I believe the, uh, <coughs> the flashlight. Yeah. Can you play video games in the afterlife? Dude, you can do whatever you want. Ian, the amount of things that YouTube has flagged <laughs> to block the comments, I've unblocked like 20 comments. Really? Thank you for unblocking yeah. them. I can't see them. <laughs> it's a lot of dumb ones. Yeah, it's like, like, that was me, LL. I'm fucking with it. That got blocked. Yeah. <sighs> you were quick. I didn't see that one. I've unblocked like 
probably like 20 of them. <laughs> oh, shit! Also, like my spirit guides are explaining more things about astral projection. You'll be sliced to ribbons! Sorry, Cole, I wait until the cutscenes after, because they just chopped my arm off. Yeah. And I don't know how I'm going to shoot a gun right now, because I don't have an arm. <laughs> um. Nah, yeah, I got nothing. Oh! Shit! You can do it. I believe it. I'm so slow now! Okay, control. Maybe. Maybe. Ah, oh, shit! I'm so slow. I'm dead. Everything's fine. Okay. <laughs> oh, rude. I love that it offers to change the difficulty when you die. Right? You are dead. <laughs> um, We're probably gonna go back to the... I don't know if it saves after cutscenes, so I don't know. What were you gonna say? <laughs> I don't know. They just tell me weird things because like they're what? all they're describing what it sounds like to astral project, and it literally sounds like a fucking heartbeat, and like that's what I can hear as if I have trouble hearing when I astral project, and all I can hear is a heartbeat, which is weird. That's not the I... sound of astral projection. That's the uh. Every time I see astral projection, it's like your soul leaves your body, but you have a string that's attached to your body so that you don't like cease to exist. So the heartbeat is the thing that's going through the string. It's your body. <laughs> it's weird because I, uh -huh. I was listening to it because you know yeah. player audience. <laughs> Not entirely sure how I'm going to avoid being slashed. Okay. <laughs> well, if you don't have your arm, you won't be able to do the punch. <laughs> the meta psychics punch. Oh. Yeah. Then you. Then I would have to give you feet, and that costs extra. <clears throat> Okay, this is where I came from. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get out of here when this crazy woman starts chasing me. Cause that is where I'm supposed to go. Oh, <sighs> maybe I have to go through that door. Um. Okay, so my consensus is I have to go through here, but I have to go around to get away from the crazy lady and then go through there. Okay, you ready? We're gonna do it. I'm just gonna say these- Wait, you turned the flashlight on? I'm sorry. What did you say? <laughs> these past few weeks have just blown my mind. Dude, same. Yeah. <laughs> Starting to see things and then being able to see people through dark things and now I'm hearing about astral projection and I'm just like, mm, well, what the hell? Yeah. This life. yeah. Anthony is figuring out that he's a medium. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Since we're talking about feet pics. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on. Um, it's because what? I... <laughs> Liv likes to do the meta psychics kick instead of punch and I'm like, that costs extra. So, um, I was watching this TikTok and this girl that was streaming was like, oh, I have a foot, foot cam. However, you can only activate the foot cam if you uh -huh. type uh, exclamation point foot cam. And then everybody started typing it and she was like, mods, fucking block all of these people. And one of the mods commented that and she was like, no, <laughs> <laughs> My mods. mods! It. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> The flashlight is on again. Is it you? I just had to figure out the frequency to turn it on. I'm glad that everyone can turn it on now. Okay, you ready <laughs> to get my arm cut off? Let's do this. It's me! It's a me! You'll be sliced to ribbons! 
Before you ever see each other. Okay, get up, love. Get up. Do it. Oh shit. Okay. You will learn what it means to insult us from the Okay. I don't know where I'm going. <sighs> okay. Nope. I don't know where I'm going. Time to die. I can kind of hear where she's at. Oh shit. I don't know where to go. <laughs> Oh, it's here. Okay, okay. F. Just take that back. Oh, awesome. That's gonna be reattached later, I think. Oh, what is happening? What is? Oh shit, shit, shit. I don't know what's happening. Don't waste my time. Yeah, seriously. I don't know what to do. Oh god. I don't know if I can like heal myself. Do it! Do it! Am I saved? There's still scary music. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, okay. Do it, put it in there. What's going on? <laughs> Running will get you nowhere. Okay, I think it's done. I don't have an arm or a hand. Oh, let me just put some alcohol on it. It's fine. <laughs> My leg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My leg. <laughs> the magic stuff. What the fuck? Where the hell am I going? You just reattached my arm, but I couldn't regrow my fucking pinkies? Some great egg gorilla glue. Good. Seriously, dude. Man, screw this castle. Oh shit. Oh hey. I'm back to where I was. Holy fucking shit. Why is there scary noises? Oh, I still have a gun. Oh, it's over there. Uh, it was a lot. Oh, I think I can go through all of the, like, weird doors now. There's another one somewhere. They're just, like, fucking everywhere. Okay. Mm Good. I think I got rid of all of them. <laughs> I hear another one. Oh, there you are. Okay.
I need more bullets, it looks like. Okay. Okay. Did I get all the things? I think so. I think that's everybody. Damn it, I just keep hearing more. Let's just- oh. Where did you come from, dude? I think they're just coming from the ceiling. Oh, okay. Go with this door. See if I can do it now that I have this key. Casey, if you just have to put your energy into turning the light on and off like I've been saying it in my head and it's been doing it. <laughs> hmm. Okay. New place! I got a key now. Oh, let's not do that. Okay. Castle map. What's up? Also, if Jay comes into the chat, Patreon Jay, let me know. Because I have to tell them about this cat that I've been seeing. Because their spirit guide also turns into a white cat and it freaks me out. That I've been seeing a cat in my basement, and now I know who the cat is. It's Liv, because Liv is always trolling me. That's fine. <laughs> it's Liv. Jeez. <laughs> <sighs> oh, please be aware the mistress lipsticks is missing. If anyone finds it, could they please return it to her bathroom? It is custom made and therefore very expensive. Grand Chambermaid. That's like a curious place to put hand art bullets. Okay. Hello. Hold on, let me make sure that's where I need to go, because apparently I keep doing dumb things. I hear growling in here. Perfect. Let's just go the other way. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that this is the wrong answer, but also I don't care. We're gonna try it. Ah, it doesn't fit. That's unfortunate. Now I have to kill these things. Hmm. Do I want to like shotgun bullet them? Maybe not. Maybe we do that for like. Oh, there's something coming into this room. <laughs> I see. There's more than one of you, too. Oh, I thought I could vicariously, like, sneak up on you. But I'm bad at that, so. Oh, you're just dying. That's what that noise is. I was like, Whoa. Dude, I really just want a balcony like this? Like, are you kidding? I don't know where this guy is that I can hear. Um, but that's super fun. There is something really scary up here. Oh, I found you! Okay, I gotta craft more bullets. I'm starting to run out of things to do that with. <laughs> Does 
So, um, says people say, do you meditate? Me in particular? Mm, yes and no, but not in the. Okay, I uh, technically meditate. I think everyone does, but I don't do it in a meditation sort of way. I do it in a let's watch TV together sort of way. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say meditation. Yeah, so it depends weird. on. What I feel like I do when I'm listening to music or driving to and from work. Yeah, I'm too ADHD to uh, not do anything. I, I do have like a sit cold. down t time and just meditate. No, can't do it. Brain says no. Sometimes I I do sit down and I do like actual meditation, but it really mm. depends. How does that work for you? Um, pretty well. So <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, it it's it's weird at first. Sometimes I do meditation, and then I'll do tarot cards, which I haven't read tarot cards in a minute. What the heckers? Yeah. How are you gonna read me? You should just read me like uh, you're a medium or something. So. <laughs> <laughs> One day since treatment, Fine. the three girls have stopped moving. They seem almost dead. An insect flew uh, out the eldest mouth. It appears to be a common fly. Two days since treatment, all three bodies are covered in flies. It appears the flies are consuming their flesh. When I opened a window, some of the flies dropped dead to the floor. It would seem a cold pet the cold petrifies them. I quickly closed the window to avoid weakening the insects further. Four days of sense treatment. All three bodies have almost been completely consumed by insects. All that is left is a dark, writhing human-shaped mass of creatures. It is just after noon and the insect have started to change color. Those around the face turn pale and those around the lips turn deep crimson. Six days since treatment. The mass of insects have transformed into human bodies again. All three girls awoke, looking at me like newborns. I sense a bond between us, like mother and daughters. I have already decided their names. Bella, Daniela, and Cassandra. That's not disturbing. Uh, Vanessa! Welcome to Teams Are Off. How be do it? How you doing? How do I put this down? Okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wait. There was, like, a staircase that I was thinking about going down. Meditation isn't... Sorry. Meditation isn't not doing something as it were I felt like to me. You can sit and just let your thoughts flow past you as if you were sitting on a park bench and your thoughts are, are the activity. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways to meditate because meditation doesn't have to be like silencing your mind. It's yeah, whatever works for you, whatever yeah. works for your brain. Makes sometimes, sense to you. yeah, like sometimes that's what I do. I just want it to be like <clears throat> quiet for a minute, <laughs> and then some days it's I want to listen to my thoughts deeply and reflect on them. And yeah. Other days it's literally just me sitting there like I'm meditating right now. Don't bother <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can not have thoughts. Yeah, uh, I don't think happen. I can either. That's hard. It's more like acknowledging your thoughts so then that way your mind can be quieter later. In the day. <laughs> so you let all your thoughts happen and then you're like, okay, I've had my thoughts, we're done. Yeah. Uh, Scientific name, none. Size, 5 to 6 centimeters. Similar body structure to blow fives, although there are some differences in the head. They are coniferous and vigorously consume meat in order to catch unsuspecting prey. They'll gather using pheromones to mimic a human. <laughs> they are produced when a, a cow does lays eggs in its hosts, but the flies themselves aren't able to reproduce. They are weak to sudden drops in temperature, especially if the temperature drops below 10 degrees Celsius. Their metabolism's lower, and they go into a dormant state, similar to 
try to post just big words. That's just all I have to say, big words. Yeah, Kristen, some people run through exercise. I do the same thing, so running. Um, that's been what I've been doing recently. Oh, for meditation? Yeah, and that's been the, the recent form. Got you. Makes sense. Where did I come out of? I came out of that room. Where it kind of changes day? every once in a while. So sometimes it's, you know, driving. Sometimes it's actually like sitting down and like intentionally meditating. Sometimes it's running. Like I think like a year, year and a half ago, I was intentionally doing it more, more often. I need to get back into doing that. What, running? Uh, no, actually, like, intentionally meditating. Oh, intentionally meditating. Okay. Oh, shit! There you are. No, get up. Run. We're running. It's a pleasure to see you safe. <laughs> How worthy. Great. Let me move, no please. Rose. What? Okay. I'm so sorry it turned out that way. Well, you'll find your way to her I'm once you're here. out of this castle. Do you have need of anything for the road ahead? Thanks to your consistent patronage, I've expanded my services. Jesus Christ. I like how everything stops when you do stuff in here. Wait, what? I was not expecting that. Oh, do I have to like do something? Perhaps he hasn't laid eyes on me. Oh. Wow, this hurts my head a little bit. Go! Go! Why do you take so long? Go! Ooh, okay. It's happening. It's happening. You think the scary lady knows I'm in here? But she can't do anything about it? Oh. Do I have to go in here? Okay. what Ooh. crimson skull i don't know what i do with these crystal things but i have a feeling she's outside you know oh yes so there's that i'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications and will do them for a small fee oh, i want dairy queen oh me too <laughs> to me Janelle. Yes. When I force you to work Maybe for me, no I'll just make you go to Dairy Queen with me. <laughs> Always. It's. I'll go twice a day if you want. <laughs> You'll literally be like, "Okay, what do you want me to do today, boss?" And be like, "Well, you're gonna <laughs> come pick me up, and then we're gonna go get Dairy Queen, <laughs> and you'll get paid." A, a bucket of Annie Ann's pretzels. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Fucking light. <laughs> They look like candy. You should eat the crystals. That sounds like a good idea. Um, start you a crystal collection. Me. I do have a crystal collection because someone told me you that I can combine them, but I don't know what that means. But I have yeah. things. See, look at this shit. I forgot I have a new crystal that I could have shown everyone, but I wasn't <gasps> here in time. Chain. It's very big. Well, the one that you showed me already that oh, yeah. talks to you. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Just hmm. I don't know what I should sell. I want to keep the crystal stuff because I feel like there's a reason why I need them for something. I should so. also go back and get that other crystal that matched the same size. <gasps> that way I have two matching crystals. Better take me with you. 
Everything has a price. One on hand. I want to sell Should've things. Should've waited day. <laughs> what are you buying? <laughs> Just well, something an old friend of mine used to say. Well, actually, no. I think they changed their hours. <laughs> How do I sell so, this? Great. Let me see. Okay, I think I can sell this. Select items to sell. Yeah, he got like a big crystal. Like it's huge. I saw big. it. Big. No, they like... are close still on Sunday. Oh yeah, it's pretty big. Bigger than my head. Big. Yeah, like if <laughs> I were to drop it, it would do some damage. It it would very much hurt. And it was originally guess how much? Two hundred and twenty two dollars. But you didn't pay that. No, I paid thirty one for it. Yeah. <laughs> that was after a gift card and it was marked down. And it was on yeah, sale. It was like sixty. This bucks. is all an investment. Okay. But I do want one that big. Yeah. Maybe someday. He snagged the good one. Yeah. Well, the other one the was other one cool, was, too. No, yeah, the other one was cool, too, but I was like, you get you, because I, well, I had already had another one, and then I put that one down for another one that was, like, the oh. one I showed last time. Yeah, maybe I'll... A little maybe more I'll expensive. Back. But I was like, I need it in my life. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'll go back and get it. We'll see. Can we go tomorrow? <laughs> no, I have work tomorrow. No, <laughs> I have work tomorrow. Oh, closed. sorry. Uh, Saturday? Yeah, we can go Saturday. I feel like I have something to do Saturday. I have work till three. Securing well, goods is more here. important than anything. Which they're to anything, my Saturday. friend. We've got a lit rock shop. It is pretty lit. Yeah. What is all of these things? Um. Ooh. Oh yeah. Uh, I literally picked up that crystal and was like, "This one's mine. I want mm -hmm. this." And I was like, "Oh, it's two hundred twenty-two dollars." And then I looked <laughs> at the side of the other one that was next to it. I was like, "This one says it's like sixty. And I looked at the side of the one that I picked up originally, and it was. It said it was also like around sixty, and I was like, <gasps> "That's why I said it was mine." <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so yes, it was fated to be mine. It is my rock okay, now. It is very I pretty. I saw you eyeing that one. Very uh, happy. I carried it around like a baby. <laughs> How many are these? I'm like trying to decide what I need. How light generator? What? What's that? What's that? Out light. I recently got oh, a Howlite Howl generator. What does that uh, mean? <laughs> I know what Howlite is, but I don't know what you're talking about, Riker. <laughs> yeah. What's it? What do you mean by generator? Yeah. What? Pointed. Oh, like a tower. Because I saw your Howlite. I don't know what's what it's called. Yeah, it's the tower. Tower things. Yeah. Thank you for your purchase. It's the one I showed you the other day. Oh man, I really should get that. Off. Yes, uh, I can that, see that why you'd be interested in uh, that. I think it was like sixty bucks though. <laughs> they had some really good things there the last time. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, when I was when we were there a couple months ago, everything was really expensive and super high priced, and I was like, "Man, I don't know good how." Day, I've gotten was... a couple ones that were like really good deals. It was also around the holiday season. That's true. I feel like they might have kicked something to prices up, but they also were like clearing stuff out, like those spheres, you know, Emily, that rose spheres they have. Mm -hmm. There was like nothing there this time, though. When it, oh you okay you think that they were going to like get rid of their stock and then restock? Yeah, but there was still nothing there. Yeah, yeah. Cause they they had that sale there a while back and then they yeah. still have nothing in some of those. I'm like some damn, of, damn. Some of the the crystals are acting like there's supposed to be a bunch of new stuff that comes in. That's like stuff that we haven't seen before soon. Hmm. Yeah, when that happens, bring me. <laughs> Everybody yeah, wants us to go back to the rock shop. 
I feel like my fucking crystal is talking to me to and I telling me that. <laughs> Guys, I can hear her outside this door. Mommy. Just open it. She's gonna... <laughs> She's... <laughs> let, her, let her come in. That's fine. Oh. Okay, yeah. it's happening. We're going Do somewhere. It. I don't know where we're going, but it's somewhere. Yeah, like the... Fuck, I'm this, doing it. I don't care. I'm going up here. This crystal is telling me that they have big plans. What does that mean? New, new things. I won't Shit. last until dinner. They're just like <laughs> crawling with weird things. I think we're just going to skip that. Plus the lady with the big hook hand. Oh, I need to go this way. Oh. Fuck! 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 It's a trap! It's a trap! It's a trap! Did you know it's a trap? It's a trap! This is a bad idea for me to be doing, but it's fine. Mommy Everything dearest is vibes. fucking fine. It's a nice mansion, it's... though. <laughs> yeah, for when I die in here. Ooh. Okay. M, we'll need a rock shop bug. Yeah, er, for sure. Rock we'll do shop. another one. The mask won't fit here. Nope. I'm gonna buy all yeah. the rocks. Well, so I got that because I got that as a the other crystal that I have that's out in the living room, Janelle. That yeah. one was a really good deal too. Mhm. Mm and I want another one that size. That's that like deep <clears throat> purple because this one is like more of a lighter purple. Mhm. Mm Oh, I'm stuck but, that uh, almost gray looking purple yeah, that amethyst. The, the other one that was a match to it had like big bigger formations on it. Yeah. If I could get we'll my go this weekend. On, I would show it, but you wanna maybe. go this weekend, Em? <laughs> um I'm busy. Yeah. I yeah. didn't want to go. But that's eh. fine. The rock we'll shop. all go another time. I also told my one, I, my friend that uh, she's gonna come stay the night in a couple weekends, and uh, I was like, "Can we go to the rock shop? Can we go to the like, rock shop? Yeah. Maybe I'll just open a metaphysical shop." Oh, we so want to. Um, I'm Big gonna plans. be picking out rocks for people. Oh yeah, that's another thing that I want you to do when you work for me is to source rocks, and we'll have a rock shop. You want some labradorite? I'll pick the perfect one for you, just yeah. saying. Intuitive Pulse by Janelle. Yeah, that's one of the I'm things I'm very that. excited for. I was worried my sister was gonna find some rocks. Fucking <laughs> fucking <laughs> hell. F. I'm also. F. 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 Okay. What am I doing? Oh, How's sorry. it feeling? I know that's complicating. Um, but can I borrow your rock tumbler? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been using it for a while. Don't know what I'm doing. What is this? I've got so many oh, rocks. Uh, uh, yeah. You also have to be careful with rock tumbling because I found out apparently uh, some of the dust that comes like out of the rocks can be toxic. My blood is pumping. Come on, do it. <laughs> Depends on the rock, yeah. The more I just the the top loader was like, yep, this is what we're doing. We're just throwing a bunch of this. I don't know what this is. Just they are. I have a lot of rocks that still need to be tumbled. Shit. Sorry. <laughs> or okay. I can just come over and we can tumble more rocks again. <laughs> okay. You it's just a pain oh, to check here fuck. because we had to walk down a hill and go to our bar. Oh, go down here. Make sure it's not trying to get some place down. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No! Why? No! It's a lie! 
crazy lace agate. And then have another like one pound of like miscellaneous like amethyst quartz. Um, soda light, have a lavaderite, tiger's eye, like that kind of like basic mix. Crazy witch. Which is lost down. But I have a three pound bag of crazy lace, which is one of my favorites. <laughs> I threw I threw two little pieces in there <laughs> when we tumbled them before. Mm -hmm. Wait, are you tumbling things now? I want to. I asked Russell about us stealing his tumbler. Yeah, you just gotta make sure you oil it. You have to oil yeah, you have to show me. Every couple of days, well, every couple of weeks, honestly. But you gotta get some media and stuff, which I think I'm running low on media. The ceramic media yes, it's fine though. But I'm running low on like the, the other things. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is open. Now. I'd, buy, not, I'd buy all that stuff. It's not very like expensive, surprisingly. It's only mm -hmm. like, I mean, it's about 60 bucks and I'm, I've gotten a decent amount out of it already, but I also was just like. Just figuring you know, it out. Well, I was also just going Aries on it and just like throwing whatever in there uh, <laughs> and going. <laughs> Going, hmm, that's probably enough. <laughs> yeah. And I put some in. Eh, we'll throw a yeah. little bit more in just in case. Like, I'm just gonna throw some extra in here. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, Sorry. shit, I put the wrong one in? Okay, well, I'll put this one in yeah, too. I, <laughs> It'll be fine. I did that before it's too. rocks. <laughs> I put the I wrong grid you. in, and I was like, oh, that's the wrong step. Let me just put this in here. <laughs> well, it's just gonna be oh. in that stage for another week, then it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I just, I would literally it do it for, I do it for a couple weeks. And then I'd check it and be like, wow, they didn't do that much. Uh, we'll just do two scoops this time and see if it works. Two scoops this shit. time. Can I leave? And they did turn out nice. Mm-hmm. Those are the ones my crazy lace were in, and they, they were really, really cool. Oh. I did I did glass, too, and did some sea glass. Oh, mm, oh yeah, I forgot about that. We had the sea glass one, the... the... Which that one didn't turn out as as good as I hoped it yeah, would. Yeah, there was. There was some cool pieces. Just, in just there. to see what's happened, you know, what, what's gonna happen if I throw it in there. Yeah, I'd like to tumble more, but it's just a pain to do it here. If it was like in our garage and I like walk past it every day, anyways, that I would mm. be more. Yeah, that's where I'd end up putting mine is mm. in my garage, right where I park my car. <laughs> so. Okay. Keep here and put this dog's bag Oh, yeah, she's... Mm. I see her tail. You're walking around. She happy, happy butt, happy mm -hmm. butt. Well, you guys ready for me to die? I think I might this. go get Dairy Queen. God, I want Dairy oh. Queen. I want some. I have the other... Oh, wait. Oh, crazy lady. I need to go around so you. Why are you so house. large? Okay. The big booty. She... <laughs> Fucking boo. Wait a second. I hate you. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Not good. Oh, I'm gonna be stuck in here now. Okay. Well. Oh, thank you. I'm She's glad that I'm now yeah. on the other side of you. That's exactly what I wanted. Can you leave me alone now? <laughs> I have froze your lovely sister. Um, I gotta go down here, and I gotta go hit the save button. But I think I realized where people's faces are for that puzzle. Everything's fine. I thought for a second I had Dairy Queen in the freezer. I did not. Dude, she's like seven feet tall. Yeah, she's a seven foot tall shadow figure that's in the Fairfield. Go watch that video. <laughs> um, Who's seven feet tall? The lady that's been chasing me around with her hook hand. Oh, I wish she was funny. like closer to eight, but like, yeah, something like that. She's yeah, very for tall. sure. Very, she's very, very, she's very, very tall. She's large. coming. See, she's there coming. you are. <laughs> Am I? We'll just go back in here. <laughs> Did you die? Did I miss something? No, when you go in here... <laughs> it's like a safe zone. 
So if something's chasing you, you just go in here, and this guy's like, keeps you safe. I don't know. It's interesting. Dude, I know she's over here. But I gotta figure out how to get out of this bullshit place. <laughs> There's a mansion like this in the astral, and it's fucking scary. Do not recommend M. You literally just gave me a button to push. And I want to push it. <laughs> also, pretty mansion. <laughs> Excuse me? We're gonna go this way. I might die. I think I hit the save button. Oh god, the music uh, fucking creeps me out. What time are you guys going to tonight? Nine. I gotta go to uh, Terry Queen before. I gotta go to Terry Queen, guys. Nah. Actually, I think it's uh, 10. That one closes. Closes, that one closes at 10. The one by me closes at 9. Yeah, but last time we hung out. Me. We hung out a while after. We streamed the last time I was no, here. No I don't know if we plan on doing that again or not, so I think we're gonna get What was the place we looked up, Russell, that like closed at 8 or something ridiculous? Sonic! Sonic? They closed at 7. <laughs> it was like. No, it was like 8. It was Weird. Was it 7? I thought yeah. it was like 8. I don't know. Maybe that was like their like winter hours, but I feel like even like pre-COVID it was never like that. But I was like, what do you mean they closed before eight? I thought yeah, eight eight o'clock was their happy hour shake. Yeah. <laughs> As we're at least in the summer. <laughs> I know it's not summer yes. just yet, but I'll... we wanted to shake and we're like, well, let's get something different. Let's go to Sonic. And we were like, oh, they close in five minutes. <laughs> Oh, it is 10 now. Is it? Yeah. Wow. That was like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. A smoothie kick lately? Dude, me too. I want a smoothie. Hey. Oof. Oof. Lights on for some reason. Oof. Um, it I'm says really if what you're kind of going, you like? if you're going, I can go with you and we can meet Thor. You have to make me cognizant when I'm astral projecting. Are you asking me about smoothies? Um, Kristen said she's been on a smoothie kick, kick lately, and I oh, said what okay. kind of smoothies. Well, anybody can answer. I like, I peach like smoothies. Ones. Anything with peach. Anything with strawberry in it. It's like my fave strawberry, raspberry. And the autistic Blueberry. answer is it has to have sherbet in it or it's too grainy. There's too many weird things in it. No visiting the mansion that's like this in this game. Well, I don't know how to be a cognizant when I astral project, so if you guys could tell me how to do that. I feel like it's trauma work, but um... You disgusting outsider! Um, but that sounds like a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of work. Yeah, it is. A lot of been, shadow work. I've, yeah, I've been doing a lot of that recently. It's great. It's a good time. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> Me too. There's dark things that I see on a daily basis. I haven't been seeing anything. I've had everything, like, kind of blocked out <laughs> recently. Shh. Ever mm -hmm. since our last ghost investigation, I have not been... <laughs> exposing myself to anything because I feel weird yeah our last day investigation I don't know if I told you is a secret until we figure yeah. out what we're doing about it but oh yeah I wasn't gonna say anything um, it's a secret yeah cuz Liv wants to do fun things with our investigation so we have to say secret oh no I will not reveal but um, I do feel very weird after that one me too that's why there's dark things all around me mm -hmm. Me and they didn't follow me home, by the way. It's just now I'm dealing with things because the place we went to opened it up. Yeah, I I really Sorry. opened up myself uh, to a lot of stuff the last investigation, which is why I think things happened the way they did. It's fine. Yeah. Everything's fine. Ooh, I can hear her. 
I think this is a safe zone. Other than the weird zombie things, but the weird zombie things don't have hooks for hands. I went this way. I don't know how to get out of here. I went into this room. Man, I'm getting like three ads. Interesting. Yeah. On my live stream? Yeah, there's a, a plugin you can get for OBS that'll tell you when they come up, too. Mm -hmm. Got you. I don't remember what it's called, but. What about the investigation after Fairfield? Is that a secret one? No, we already talked about it. It's Madison Seminary. Because we talked about it in our live stream. That was before Liv decided that we're going to do some fun things with it. So we already talked, told everybody about the Madison Seminary one. <laughs> but yeah, Madison okay. Seminary I'm working on. So that'll go out hopefully next week. But it's a lot of content. Yeah, there's a lot in that one. Um, it's very dark human stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is really fucking weird. I like, don't know where to go. Well, I'm gonna go get Dairy Queen. <laughs> uh, bring me some. You wanna, I was gonna say, you wanna run me by some? Like, for real, for real, though? For real, for real, though? Bro. Bro. I would have to go, that's like opposite direction. Listen, nah. Russell, maybe wanna... you should just find a house by me, and then you can just bring me Dairy Queen, and I'll pay you to do that when you work for me. <laughs> Well, I apparently, so my boss has decided that anyone over 50 miles doesn't have to go into the office anymore. And I'm like, I'm about to move 50 miles away from the office. <laughs> 50 miles. Yeah, it, which that's been the rule for a while. Um, and <laughs> I was like, I mean, I'm like 10 miles from where I work. So like, you know, whatever. But um, I think they have to go off of whatever address you're hiring at, though. So like, if I move more than 50 miles i'd still have to come into the office because i moved but oh, some people were you. hired they were hired under the impression that they were going to be remote working and only coming in one day a week and then now they keep slowly increasing it so interesting yeah we're up to two days a week now which i'm still one because one of those days is my day off so and i complain oh. about that one day too I don't care how far it is. <laughs> I don't want to go in. But maybe think... someday I'll not have to go into an office and not have to work for anyone. No, you're going to work for me. <laughs> it's going to happen. And it's going to be like you're not working for anyone. <laughs> yeah. Which, like, honestly, I do feel like I feel like I work for a totally different company than where I was at before. And I'm with the same company. It doesn't feel like the, the same company, which is fun. I'm so lost. What do you mean? Just trying to figure something out. Um, I like the mango pineapple smoothie from Panera Bread. Mango pineapple smoothie. I don't think I like mango. That's I like good. pineapple, but I don't think I've ever had that smoothie either. I've never had a smoothie from Panera. I had the, uh, what is it called? The strawberry banana one, but it kind of tasted like yogurt. Hmm. Like just yogurt. They probably, I mean, they could have added yogurt in it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what their smoothies have in it. Depends. Planning on working at the library this summer part-time, which my guides have been encouraging me to do. Also, when the school I work at is haunted. I think every school is. As long yeah. as it's, like, old enough, because there's so many people's energy in one spot, that most there's places... There's also a lot of uh, trauma, too, around schools. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see there's if she can come in here. Go to. Is there? Or the what state? Yeah. What state um, is it in? I can't remember if it was it. Tennessee? Tennessee. Sounds Tennessee like fun. or Tennessee 
What's up, hey, party people? Live, live I live. Here. Look it up. Hola. We're talking about haunted schools and astral projection. Live astral projects. Did you know that? <laughs> the fun time. Oh, I'm also running from a eight foot tall woman with hooks for hands. The best time. I don't know how to get out of here. Is there a door over here? Wifey! No, oh. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go over here for a second. I, oh gosh. Uh, I'm gonna get myself in trouble with Timu again. It's fine. Do you know I'm gonna send you something? And I think I'm gonna get these. Liv, did you wake M up at 4 a.m.? She did. <laughs> and along with Riker and Brandy, because I think Riker was the one that got into my head. But she Perfect was she there. Because I got her symbol, because I told you guys that Riker is one middle finger, or one middle finger on two middle fingers. Liv is peace sign. She's deuces. And she trolled me after I figured out I was awake, so it's fine. From the astral, is what I mean. <laughs> I may have done this subconsciously or spiritually because I don't remember doing it. Exactly! I don't remember waking up, Liv. I don't remember waking up. I don't remember waking up. How is that a thing? Oh, she's coming. Here comes mommy. Well, this was a bad I place to go to. I paid a single bit of attention to this game. Riv. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing now. I think I have to put the faces to get out of this room. However, this is gonna be bad. Oh, Jay Haney's here. Wait, no. I Jay! Somebody's here. You're I'll be here! Right. Ooh. Jay! I figured out what the white cat is. She cracked the case. Okay, I'm in a safe zone now, I think. Jay, I figured out what the white cat is because I know you ask me a lot. Um, so I figured out that Liv and I astral project subconsciously. Shit, she's coming out here with me. What the hell? I thought this was a safe place. This is bad. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> We're going this way. Yeah, I think someone was at the at the door at Janelle's house, and that's where she went. But someone knocked at the door here earlier, and I hid. <laughs> there are hid? two types of people in this world. There's two types of people. Holy shit! I don't know if she's coming this way. Dude, if she comes out here, it's gonna be bad. Um, I did not know I astral project FYI, so I can't really answer too many questions about it. I don't know what my soul be doing while I sleep, lol. Well. Yeah. yeah. Fun time. Oh, well, Hannah has been talking about the fact that they can, um, astral project as a werewolf, which is cool. So I told them, A, if you want to take me places in the astral, you're going to have to figure out how to make me conscious, because otherwise it's not as fun. First off. Second off. Uh, Jay, the cats that I've been seeing in my house are the cats that lead us back to our bodies when we're in the astral. So the white cat is Liv. Or is the cat that leads Liv back to her body. What the fuck, right? But yes, hi, astral projecting and cat. <laughs> I could hear her, like, walking around in here. It's scary. Why is she following me? Like, why are you obsessed with me? Shit, shit, shit. Oh. My parents are over there. 
That's who I was at the door. Oh. <laughs> They're probably looking at her roof because she got her roof redone. Liv just oh, doing a jig in the corner of M's basement last night. Yeah. Rupert's got the wiggle butt. She happy. I don't think they realized that she was on stream. Whoops. Hmm. I'll try to figure out how to help you astral project while awaken so we can chill out in the astral plane. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I think it has. To, I think I have to do trauma things, or I have to do lucid dreaming. I don't know. I don't know how any of that works. I lucid dreamed once. I've never, I've never, I think maybe I've done that once. I spirit guides woke me up because I told them I wanted to know what it was like. So I was having a nightmare about Okiku, and then I heard someone's voice, literally like outside my dream bubble or outside my head, like with my physical ears, say Okiku. And then I was, like, lucid in my dream, and I was like, holy shit, there's a fucking haunted doll walking around killing people in this lunchroom. So I woke up, because so I was like, um, can we do this a different time? Yo, that's so amazing. Is it spicy? Why is it so spicy? I don't know what to do. Do shadow work first to help you unblock yourself from projecting was what I heard from Thor. Yeah, I figured that. Um, Cause that's what my spirit guides- 